as you can see this is from Florida Atlantic University in Boca to David Gibbons, Mr. Gibbons. Wow, it's a beautiful piece of paper. As important to me as my social security card and birth certificate. Mr. Gibbons' college degree, David Lee Gibbons' college degree. This is not the original. This is a duplicate of my college degree. When I went and got this, they would ask me at the Davie campus where I first tried to get it and they sent me to the Boca campus. Why would you want a copy of it? Most people get a copy of the transcript saying that they finished the courses. No, no, no. I wanted a copy of that college degree. That piece of paper said that I graduated with a bachelor degree and elementary education. That's the piece of paper. Keep the transcript. This is the beautiful piece of paper that I went and got. And then when I went and got it at the Boca campus, I made that trip my official visit of the Boca campus. So I toured the Boca campus to the registry office, to the main general office, to athletics, to the gym, basketball, tennis. I toured that campus, which is nice. Boca campus is nice. And I took my girl's continental planetarium globe to the Davy campus and to the Boca campus of Florida Atlantic University. And a few people gave me precious time out of their existence and they were wild when they saw my beautiful girls continental planetary globe because they had never seen that configuration before I'm on a college campus and they had never seen that configuration before blown away not by the ceramic but by the apple that I showed them first. They have not seen, yes they have seen the ceramic in the registrar's office. And they are blown away. They would say, you need to get that patent. I said, no, I don't need that. It's already patented. It's patented by you've never seen it before and you're blown away and you're, oh my God. And so I have a guy in the engineering department at FAU Boca campus. Craig Kramer. He and Fred Knapp. When they saw the apple. They didn't recognize. That it was the shape of the earth. Remember people I'm on a college campus. They didn't recognize it. No one did. But when they were told. Oh my god. That's beautiful. I'm talking about the apple. Not the ceramic clay one. Just the apple. And so Fred Knapp, he said he can't produce it. He's an engineer guy. He said Craig Kramer, he'll try. And that is what Craig Kramer is working on. Producing a prototype that can be possibly mass produced to the world. And that is coming very soon. But I don't want people to have a mass produced one. I want you to have your own. When you make it yourself, it is unique. It is different from all others. They will be similar, but the very subtleties will make them different. And it will belong to you when you make them out of clay. Even when you make them out of apple, they all will be different. But if you engineer it and you mass produce it, then everybody has the same. There will be some that will be the same. But when you make your own, it is unique. It is yours, as my first four ceramic ones are. So again... My beautiful girl's continental planetary globe. It wowed collegiates who's supposed to recognize that shape, that configuration of the land that we exist on, and they didn't. Register office blown away. Students in ceramic art area who make sculptures blown away. 
Oh my God, that's beautiful. As I said, my girl's continental planetary globe will wipe out all round, hollow, empty globes. And there's a whole another level of intelligence that is behind that, that is on the highest level of intelligence. This is Mr. Givens. Again, protecting this college degree and my beautiful girl's inheritance and the girl inheritance. She is the one superpower in existence. This is Mr. Givens up early in the morning. About six o'clock. Much love to my beautiful girls and their parents.